Welcome to another episode of Healthy You. My name is Jorge Mira, the producer, and today we have Chef Green in the house. Hi, how are you? I'm well, and yourself? Well, it's a great honor to have you in our show. And actually, um, tell us about yourself. Um, I believe your passion for raw food and healthy eating came out of a dream. Could you elaborate about that? Well, I started to see uh, certain people in my family who were suffering from high blood pressure, cancer, uh, diabetes, and things like that. And I heard an old saying that your food is your medicine. And I wanted to get into that and really work with the food and see if it can help me help my family members, myself, and some of my friends. And when that started to work, when I was uh, you know, feeding my grandfather and my grandma, I saw that it was really helping them become healthy. So I said I should take this passion and actually do it as a career, and that's where it all started. Oh, great, great. So besides um, being a chef, doing your food demonstrations, uh, what else do you do? Uh, I teach at some schools in D.C. and Virginia. I do demonstrations for little children, some children who have um, high, uh, ADD or uh, just have a little trouble staying still. So I teach the parents and the, the uh, teachers basically how to make them uh, healthy food that uh, keep them balanced. And mm. I also uh, do demonstrations at churches and things like that. I'm a private chef for hire, so I go into so, people's homes and I prepare meals for their families. So how our viewers can find you? Uh, you have a website and email address? Well, I'm working on building the website right now, but you can find me on Facebook under Chef Green, or you can find me on Instagram, which is underscore Chef Green and another underscore. Um, underscore. Great, great. So what's the recipe today? Well, right now we're going to have a vegan um, sweet potato spaghetti. I'm using spinach artichoke uh, pasta, and we're going to have some sweet potatoes. I'm going to blend it up in a blend sack, put um, a lot of these nice ingredients, fresh ingredients, and we're going to come up with a nice sauce. Great. Um, could you all, um, I see that the pasta is ready. Could you go over how to cook the pasta and sure. then we can start with the um, with the sauce. Sure, what I did was I uh, put a pot on with a rapid boil and I basically put a tablespoon of coconut oil, a little bit of salt and got it to a boil and then I put the noodles in for eight minutes, let it boil and then I drained it and here we go, we have the spinach pasta. Great. Okay, so what we're gonna do is take some sweet potatoes. This is four cups of sweet potatoes diced. We don't need all of them, but uh, we're probably gonna use about three to four uh, cups. So I peeled the sweet potatoes, okay. and I diced them, and then I put them in a steamer for about 20 minutes, and got it to a ball and got them nice and tender. And I took them out, and I did that because I wanted to keep the sweet, pota sweet potatoes intact. Perfect, perfect. And how much of uh, so we have four cups four cups of okay. sweet potatoes I'm gonna put the remaining here and then we're gonna put about one cup of fresh water in there can you pass me the teaspoon please so we're gonna take a nice this is pink Himalayan salt you're gonna take that maybe two Two teaspoons, okay. Yes. And I'm going to put a little bit of cayenne just for uh, a little bit of heat. Okay. So that's um, to taste. Yes. To okay, taste. so. So we're going to put um, about four cloves of garlic. Good. Then we're going to take the fresh, I'm sorry, dried garlic, and then we're going to put like two half of a teaspoon okay, in here. Okay, so one teaspoon. Yes. Okay. Then we're gonna take the sun-dried tomatoes. We're gonna put the whole thing in here. Okay, it's about a cup. Right? Yes. Okay. I'm gonna use the parsley and the oregano. Let's put some oregano in. This is fresh oregano. It's easy to find at your health food store. This is gonna bring out the flavor a lot. Actually, we could just put the whole thing in there. Great. All right, so we're ready to blend this up. 
You want to use a high power blender so you can get everything to uh, the soft consistency, the sauce consistency that you mm -hmm. would like. Okay. Seems like it's ready now. It's ready. Okay. So we have this nice consistency. It's thick, and creamy, just the way we need it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So this is when we'll take this sauce and actually put it on top of the spinach artichoke pasta. So this recipe, for what I see, is a gluten-free recipe. It's gluten-free. Perfect. So for, for people that uh, they are looking for gluten-free options this is a great option and it smells so good yes this is a, a really quick easy option too i like to show this because you know some parents they come home and they don't have enough time mm -hmm. to actually make a full course meal but you have we have the spinach uh pasta which is loaded with chlorophyll and we have the sweet potatoes and the sun-dried tomatoes which are good for um the sweet potatoes are high in antioxidants and it's also high in vitamin C, A, and K, and B6, which is uh, very important for us. Great, so great. There we go. So what's next now? So we're gonna nice, we're gonna plate this, this pasta, mm -hmm. um, on a plate, and then we're gonna sample it. Oh, okay, good. And what about the rest of the ingredients? That's gonna be for garnish. For garnish. Okay. Yes. So we're gonna cut for a. Uh, um, public service announcement. When we come back, we're going to continue plating and garnishing the dish, okay? Yes. Okay, thank you. For years, scientists have explored remote corners of the earth, searching for exotic substances that might help prevent cancer. At last, man has discovered a secret place where powerful remedies can actually be found. Medical research shows that a vegetarian diet rich in fruits, vegetables, and whole grains can help prevent many types of cancer. Wherever you live, cancer prevention is as close as your grocery store. To learn more, call 866-906-WELL. Okay, we're back, and now we're ready to garnish the dish. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to garnish the plates, but I first wanted to point out the benefits of the sweet potato. The sweet potato is a very inexpensive superfood. It's high in vitamin B6, vitamin E, C, and it has fibrinoids, magnesium, iron, and copper. These are some cancer-fighting foods that we can eat on a regular basis to help combat certain ailments. It's also um, an anti-inflammatory for wow. people who have arthritis. It's a good thing to eat. And other starches, a lot of vegetarians, they say that they're vegetarian, but you kind of see that they're mm -hmm. not healthy because they're eating like a lot of the starchy white potatoes. But the sweet potato is a better option, and it's, uh, it's also high in fiber. But it's not something that you can like gain weight over or be um, very so uh, you unhealthy. Can, you, yes. You, you can eat as much as you want. In moderation. Without, <laughs> without any yeah. big um, side effects. Let me let me let me share some something about you about the sweet potatoes. Um, I work all day in front of a computer, right, doing uh -huh. drawings and designs and stuff uh -huh. like that. So I noticed that I need the new prescription glasses. Yes. And then, of course, I read that sweet potato has a lot of vitamin A. Yes, it does. So I start eating every day, almost almost every day, and you then three months. About a month later, to two months later, my my eyes went back to normal, and now I I don't I don't need new prescription glasses. So would you glasses. say you have 20/20 vision now? <laughs> well, with my prescription glasses, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah, I'm glad that you pointed out yeah. that it has vitamin A in it. It's also uh, really good. Like I said, it's a uh, anti-inflammatory. So people who have arthritis, you know, that's uh this would help you manage that. And um, it's also good, we have sun-dried tomatoes in there, which is high in iron. A lot of women sometimes don't have enough iron, and so they have a lot of uh, anemia issues like that. So just wanted to point out how beneficial the sweet potato is, and also tomatoes. It's also a superfood. It has vitamin C, vitamin E, and K in it as well. So we're going to just put a couple of garnish. We're going to start off with the oregano. So we're going to take fresh oregano and just, you know, Garnish the plate up, make it look nice. So 
So, do you uh, juice the uh, sweet potatoes? No, no. Yeah, you How should try you it in that? a sweet. Um, put it in a juicer mm -hmm. or like a high speed blender, like the one I was using, mm -hmm. a Vitamix or a Blendtec, and um, you can make your nice uh, smoothie or juice in the morning. It's really good. And and can you do it raw? I mean. Yes, I don't cook it. I I oh, okay. I just uh, peel it. But um, if you get like organic. Or organic uh, sweet potato just wash Who's this saying? is fresh parsley parsley okay yes so if you get like an organic um, right here we have a I'm sorry right here we have a vegan Parmesan so it's basically cashews a little bit of nutritional yeast and a little bit of um, pink salt and we have vegan Parmesan so you can make yourself or you can buy it well this is what I made okay well, <laughs> yeah. oh good so this is one of your products? Yes. Oh, cool. Something that I put together. Smells good. Smells so this fresh. will basically replace, you know, like a lot of people uh, like Parmesan cheese. I used to like Parmesan cheese. That used to be one of my favorites when I used to eat like pastas and things like mm -hmm. that. So I wanted to create something where I could still have that same flavor and that consistency, but it would still be vegan and still be healthy for me. So where they can find the, your Parmesan version well that's a good question um i never thought about marketing it but um i'll look into that okay um, well you, they can go to your uh, facebook and, yes. and send you a, a request, a request yes, or something yes. hey can i have the recipe you can also send me a message if you need a private chef to cater any small events or things like that i do um you know small events and medium-sized events and things like that so what's your what, facebook account again it's chef green life and also, you can also email me at chefgreenlife at gmail.com. And if you wanted to follow me on Instagram, it's underscore chefgreen underscore. Cool. So let's dig deep in this. Um, I also had some fresh, uh, fresh. Um, I'm sorry, some dry parsley. Cool. So if you wanted to try mine. some on yours, you can. Yeah. Um, this is uh, some diced up sun-dried tomatoes. This also can be a garnish. So this is open to your imagination. You can add. Yeah, I just anything. have fun with food. Yeah, it's exactly. Food is exciting and fun to me, and I always think about what is this food gonna do for my body once I'm eating it. And I already know what this is gonna do for me, and I hope mm. you're excited to have oh, something sure. yourself. And this is something that you can do with your kids also, right? Exactly. And they, they love to, you know, put stuff on top and. Yes, and I started like. my. You know, I started cooking at the age of five. I was always interested. And I'm glad that my mom, you know, welcomed me in the kitchen and, allow and allowed me to do that. And that's why I'm here today. But um, this is very easy. You know, kids like to play with sauce. They like mm -hmm. to, you know, we did exactly. it in a vendor, blender. All they have to do is put the ingredients in, press the high button, and here we go. Cool. Let's try it. Okay. So my <laughs> favorite part of the show. <laughs> the chefs don't eat if you notice that. Oh, really? No. no you, you I'll let you enjoy. Mm. It's really good. <laughs> now, if um, there are many versions of pasta these days mm -hmm. that's still gluten free, mm -hmm. so you can. I guess one week, if you do this on once a week, I guess you can make one quinoa pasta one day. Yes, you can make quinoa I pasta. Don't know, spinach another time. Yes, you can make, they have so many different uh, options. You have quinoa pasta these days. You also have, uh, I saw some in the, in the market uh, a week ago, mm -hmm. um, some, uh, some, uh, Lentil, lentil pasta, lentil pasta yeah. which is really, really good. The red lentils, they have green lentil pasta, and that's that's high in uh, magnesium, high in vitamin C, vitamin A, and um, that's also a good option. We also have a, a black bean pasta that's on the market as well. So there's different varieties of pasta, and it's vegan, and it's also gluten-free. So yeah. you can't go wrong with that. And vegan means no cholesterol, no... So, you know, fat and yeah. the chemicals and um, hormones so and all the stuff that comes 
with you know you can eat like this it's all gluten-free everything is organic and don't have to worry about um any um you know anything that you worry about when you're eating like fast foods or um and it's very inexpensive these ingredients probably cost me like 15 dollars so um yeah the pasta i'm sorry the pasta is sweet potatoes <laughs> but the uh the other garnishes probably all together is probably 25 dollars which is really good wow. yeah. Yeah. yeah and this is enough to feed four people it takes what well, like 15 20 minutes yes it's very quick yeah well thank you for showing us how delicious how easy and all right so let me taste it now oh perfect i was wondering a second <laughs> More. Wow, this is really good. It's really good. I would put it some more uh, sauce on it, but it's it's really good. So, what's the difference between raw and cooked? Well, the raw pot, the raw portion is basically it's a, a it's a live version. So, when you cook in these ingredients, it's still beneficial, but to get the high maximum benefit it's best to keep those ingredients raw, meaning not to cook them. So we're going to take the same ingredients uh, and we're going to replace the pasta with zucchini. Zucchini is very good. It's low in calories. I'll get into the benefits of that once we start making it. But um, you're just, you know, we're going to use the same ingredients, but it's just going to be raw this time. Okay, perfect. So after this break, we will show you how to do a raw Vegan, <laughs> Vegan sweet potato sweet pasta. Sweet potato pasta. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we're back and we're going to show you the live version of the pasta. Yes. Okay. First, describe what do you have here. This is a sterilizer. So it allows us to take things like zucchini and turn it into the pasta. So this is what we're going to use in place of the, uh, the, pot, the starchy pasta. So we're going to have a live version. Just wanted to also point out some of the properties of the zucchini. It's um, high in potassium, which helps basically normalize the blood, uh, high blood pressure. Mm -hmm. And also it's low in calories and it helps with constipation. The, the skin, once you keep the, uh, the skin on the zucchini, it helps with, um, with constipation, which also could be beneficial with combating uh, with colon cancer. Perfect. It's also high in vitamin C uh, and it's very inexpensive. So see how easy this is? Yes, we get this kind of pasta looking. Mm, tastes good. It's also high, the high content of water in the zucchini makes it more of an alkaline food. So this is also something that the kids would like to help, you know, help you make in the kitchen. It's so very you, fun. if you don't have this um, spiralizer, that's how you call it? The spiralizer. Spiralizer. I guess you can just yes. do it by hand or it won't be that thing, I guess, right? It won't be like this. It wouldn't yes. be this consistency, but you can do it. You mm -hmm. know, you have to work with what you have. Perfect. You could, easy, you could even cut it very small, mm -hmm. very fine slices, and make like a ravioli. Oh, cool. It's going to take some time, but mm -hmm. you could definitely uh, achieve that goal. Okay, So great. Um, I'll show you that in another video. So we have enough pasta. Mm -hmm. Let me just take some of the raw sweet potato. It's very good not only good when you cook it but it's also good raw so here we go we're gonna put a cup full of uh, sweet potato I'm gonna take a heaping teaspoon of um, sea moss which is very beneficial as well it's good for the thyroid but you already soak that sea moss or, or that's yes. how it comes I, okay. I also sell uh, the sea moss uh, in the smaller container and also the large container uh, you can get that on my website. We're going to put three cloves in here. We're going to put some red peppers, probably about a two handful. So that will be like a quarter cup, right? Yeah. Okay. And then we have one handful of the, the red uh, onion, two actually. I'm going to put a little bit of salt, just a pinch. And then we're going to put... Himalayan pink salt. Yes, pink salt. We're going to put some water in here. 
just enough to cover the ingredients. It's like two cups of water. So we have one cup of zucchini chopped, and then we, I mean, sorry, one cup of sweet potato mm -hmm. and two cups of water. Okay, good. Make sure you plug the blender. Okay. okay, so we have the perfect consistency that we would need for the sweet potato uh, sauce. We're going to um, place this on a plate and then garnish it. When we come back, we're going to garnish the zucchini pasta. Thank you. Okay, we're back for the last part of our episode the plating of the raw pasta yes okay good so we're gonna take the raw zucchini we're gonna place it on a plate nice and neat so i like to put some of the fresh parts i mean the dry parsley on top of the noodle first before i put the the sauce on it's just something that i like to do and then we're gonna put the zucchini. The zucchini sauce, and that's the consistency that. The sweet potato sauce on the top. The sweet potato sauce consistency, yep. Just a little bit more. Then we're gonna put some fresh. See, I'm helping you. <laughs> He's doing a great job. Thank you. Some fresh tomatoes, some cherry tomatoes. Well, you have um, this a is rainbow of colors that, that I can see. It's good to eat your colors. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to put a little bit of uh, some red peppers on there. And some, some um, I'm sorry, mushrooms. some mushrooms, yes. So this is good live food. And here we're going to use the same... Uh, cashew parmesan cheese. This is raw as well, nothing's cooked. Just drizzle some of that on there. So one of the benefits of uh, live foods are you have the most of the nutrients and also the enzymes that comes with the uh, fruit or vegetable yes. that help, helps you to digest. Yes. So what, what's happening when you're eating raw food is that you're keeping all the healing properties intact. You're not cooking anything out. You're not depleting anything. Everything is exactly how it is. So it's, you're getting food that's charged with electricity from the earth. And then you're going to take that same energy and put it in your body. So that's why you don't feel sluggish after eating a meal mm -hmm. of raw food. It's just giving you a lot of vital energy and it's good for us and it, it keeps everything intact. So all the vitamin A, K, and C, and E that I talked about in the cooked version, you're gonna get all of that in the raw version without taking anything or compromising any of the, the vegetables. Perfect. So I guess um, it's my, yeah. my turn now to, hmm, it looks so good. <laughs> no, like extra here. And as I said, children would love to help make this type of food in the, fr in the kitchen. I mean, it's just, it's a family dish that you can make with all your family. That's easier with my hands. <laughs> it's really good to eat with your hands as well. Mm -hmm. It's really good. Yeah. It's really good. Before we close, let me ask you one more time, how our viewers can find you? You can find me on Facebook, Chef Green Life. You can also email me at chefgreenlife at gmail.com. You can also find me on Instagram, which is underscore Chef Green and unders underscore. I'm also coming out with a book called Eat Your Way to a Better Sex Life with Raw Food. Wow. And it's coming yeah. out pretty soon with one of my friends who's a personal trainer, Gary Whitaker, and myself, Chef Green. We're going to come out with a whole bunch of different uh, raw food dishes that are. Uh, helps you keep you uh, vitalized and healthy. Wow, that's a great <laughs> news. Those are great news. Thank you, Chef Green. Thanks for having me. And uh, for more information about our show, you can always go to our website, 
healthyutvshow.com and all of our previous episodes are on our YouTube channel, healthyutvshow. Thank you and we'll see you next time. Does the food have you speechless? <laughs> <laughs> it's really good. So we're gonna add, this is nutmeg. I'm gonna put, sorry I'm not measuring. So I'll say like two pinches and a little dash of uh, clover. And I'll just put some cinnamon in here. So we have cashews, I put two cups of cashews, three and a half cups of water, I put a, a pinch of clover, a half a teaspoon of nutmeg, and about a tablespoon of the cinnamon. I'm going to put, these are frozen bananas, two frozen bananas in there, and we're going to put some sea moss in there as well. So it's like one heaping tablespoon. It's a teaspoon, but you so I put a tablespoon on. So we're gonna actually put a little bit of turmeric in here, just for color. <laughs> 